Hi guys, this week let's make Instagram part of our professional color grading process for videos. So this happens to me more often than I would like to admit. I'm uploading photos to my Instagram, by the way, this is my Instagram if you want to go and follow me there. And when I'm uh, uploading my photos to Instagram, I end up in this uh, filter screen. And of course, my first initial thought is that I'm a professional videographer and a relatively good colorist. I already know everything you can do to, to your image to make it look better. And these filters are meant for amateurs. But then out of curiosity, I'm just testing, testing these filters a bit. And of course, at 100%, these filters look way off. But when you bring the opacity down to 15 or 50%, somewhere there, I have to admit that they make my images look better. And that's kind of embarrassing. I want to fix that. I want to make these Instagram filters part of my color grading process so that Instagram wouldn't anymore be able to beat me at my own game. So let's go to the computer and let me show you how you can as well take these Instagram filters and use them in your photo editing or in your video editing as well. Our challenge is to try and extract this Claridon filter out of Instagram. Unfortunately, there's no extract a lookup table in Instagram, so we need to hack it. And let me try and explain you the basic idea on how we're going to hack it. This here is a hulled image. Hulled image is a very special diagram because this image has all the colors that you can have in a color space. Every single color is in this diagram or a very close neighbor of that color. Let me explain you what that is in practice. Let's open up 3D LUT creator and in this software we have the same image opened and in this software we have a very nice 3D vector scope. So this is the same tool as you have in your video editing software. Here's the flesh tone line. And here we can look at the same vector scope from the side as a three dimensional uh, object. And as you can see, these pixels are now distributed evenly throughout the whole color space. So the basic idea here is that we're gonna import this image to Instagram and then do our modifications to it and then export it out and do a lookup table based on the changes that has happened to this image. Because this image has basically all the uh, colors of the color space. We can see what happens to each color after the modifications. But the first problem is that if we try to import this to uh, Instagram, we end up having a lot of compression. Here's what I, I tried to do that. And this happened, that the compression bleeds these edges from white to black. And this causes that our pure blacks and our pure whites actually get messed up. So we can't use this technique to try and extract the information from Instagram. So instead, we're gonna use a much simpler version of the same halt image. And here you can see this is a so-called uh, three by three halt image. And it's only, like that only has three of these when this has eight. And to uh, get the best quality out of Instagram, we're gonna upscale this image to the maximum resolution Instagram allows, and that is uh, 1080. And then we're gonna use this nearest neighbors resampling option. And by this, we make this image very big and we keep these corners, especially these corners between these like almost white and almost black, we keep those clean. And then we bring this image to Instagram, do our modifications, and then we take a screen capture of this image and bring it back uh, to our computer. And when you do this, make sure that you don't accidentally uh, capture your image from a screen that is uh, that has uh, color limiting on it. For example, this is captured from a desktop and because of my screen is a DCI-P3 uh, display, so it's very wide gamut, sorry my jargon, it means that it can show a lot of colors and when I'm using Instagram on, on my uh, Chrome browser, it actually limits the colors and it kind of distorts the result, result that we get. So instead, we're gonna use this image that is from my phone. When on my phone, there's no limiting happening. So 
you're trying to get to this point that you have uploaded this halt image as high resolution image uh, to Instagram, then you export it out and bring this photo to Photoshop. Then we're gonna very carefully crop this image from corner to corner and be very careful not to get any of the extra pixels. So be very mindful about this part. And there we go. And now we're gonna crop it. And then we're going to rescale this back to the 27 pixels using the nearest neighbor hard edges option. And now we have a very clean uh, and very uh, like nicely captured halt image. And let's save this. And here I'm going to already have already done that. So I'm going to uh, save it again with the same name of the filter. And then I'm going to use a software called LUT Generator from this website. There's a link in the description where you can find this simple software. And with this software, you can convert these HALT images into cube files. So let's go and find our HALT image. This is the HALT image that we got from Instagram and we cleaned it up in Photoshop. And then I'm going to open it and bam, it created a, a cube file from uh, the HALT image that we were using. So now we can go to Photoshop and try and apply the same lookup table. This is actually the lookup table. And now I can apply it to my footage. So this is our original footage and this is with the, uh, the uh, Instagram filter. Though this is only 45, so here is it and full strength. But let's bring it back to 45 because I was, I think that's the sweet spot for this filter on this case. And here I even took a screenshot from Instagram and uh, with the uh, filter at 45. And here you can compare these two images side by side and they seem to match very well. The only difference is actually the skin tones and that's simply because I applied a mask on uh, Photoshop to this, uh, this uh, lookup table so it wouldn't uh, affect the skin tones. And this is the beauty of these uh, filters when they are lookup tables that you can actually start masking and doing all kinds of things to them that you cannot do on Instagram. And the last but not the least feature that you can do with these lookup tables is that you can of course start using them in your color grading. So here I have a simple color grade and I'm going to apply the uh, Claridon filter, Claridon uh, lookup table on my footage. And here you can see that we have the same effect on our footage as we would have on Instagram or we had in Photoshop. And of course, here we can go and uh, set the strength to the sweet spot of 45. And that's how can you can use this lookup table in your color grading in when you're color grading your videos as well. And by using this HAL image, you can extract all the other Instagram filters from Instagram as well. If you want to get the lookup table that we just created on this uh, tutorial, you can go and get it from here. And you will get the same HALT image that we used in this process and you can replicate the process for other filters on Instagram. So go and get the lookup table and the HALT image there. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Bye.